Hi, this is Kirk from livingafield.com. I'd like to welcome you to our online learning academy, where today we're going to discuss chicory, as mellow as they come. The botanical name of chicory is Chicorium intibus. Here are a couple of photos of chicory. Um, anybody walking along the roads has seen chicory growing. In Michigan in the summer. Common names are of course chicory. It is non-native but it has become naturalized all across the United States. It's a member of the Asteraceae or composite family and it is a tall herbaceous perennial. Plant can get up to about four feet tall but usually you're going to see it in about the two or three foot range. Leaves form a basal rosette and then the four to six inch leaves are deeply toothed with a prominent midrib and or leaf stalks which are often reddish. Most of the leaves have irregular hairs on them. In the early spring, chicory closely resembles dandelion and wild lettuce. The teeth of the leaves are not opposite like they are in dandelions. Once the flower stems appear, any resemblance to either is quickly lost though. Um, and dandelion leaves are also hairless. The stiff, erect stems are nearly naked and they have striking blue stalkless flowers. Plant grows from a white fleshy taproot. Plant flowers in late spring through summer. Now these stalkless blue ray type flowers are about an inch and a half in diameter. They can sometimes be white, but typically they're blue, as you see in this picture, and they tend to be whitish down toward the base of the petals. The petals are squared off on the end, but you can see here that they, they look as though they're ripped um, or fringed on the end. The flowers will close in the afternoon or when it's cloudy. The fruit are akines and they have no feathery hairs, but they do have tooth scales on the top. You'll find this plant in disturbed areas, along roadsides and fields. Quite often in the city, you'll see it growing in the margins between the sidewalks and the roads, especially where in fielded areas where they aren't mowed as often as they should be. You use the young leaves prior to the flower stalks appearing, the flowers and the taproot. The young leaves are wonderful in salads. Uh, most people find the older leaves too bitter to eat. I like to add a small amount to my salads as I find the bitterness is a pretty good addition to normally bland salad greens. Americans have become prejudiced against bitter tasting greens. They add a, a nice variation to your salad, a nice flavor variation, and they also, that bitterness, helps stimulate digestion, so they're really good for you. Um, the older leaves can be made more palatable by boiling them in a couple of changes of water, and you eat them similar to how you would something like spinach. The taproot is much too fibrous to eat. It can, however, be roasted and ground to make a very good coffee substitute. Uh, there are commercial coffees available that do add chicory as an agent to cut the bitterness. You can use ground chicory in a coffee maker just like you would your normal coffee. The resulting brew tastes quite a bit like coffee. It's just much more smooth and it also lacks the caffeine. The following slides are meant for informational purposes only. They're not meant to diagnose or treat any illness or injury. Always consult with a physician or other qualified medical care provider concerning the diagnosis and treatment of any illness or injury. I say it all the time, I'm not a doctor and I do not play one on the internet. You can add one ounce of root to one ounce of water and use it as a diuretic or laxative. You can also use it to treat jaundice, skin eruptions, and fevers. This plant will lower blood sugar. 
it is slightly sedative and mildly laxative. Leaf extracts tend to be weaker than root extracts. This plant is aperient, meaning that it promotes the natural movement and function of the bowels. It is diuretic, meaning that it increases the formation and flow of urine. It is a febrifuge, it does reduce fever. It is slightly laxative, so it will promote contractions of the bowel to stimulate the removal of feces. And it is sedative, um, it will quiet the nervous system. Chicorium intibus has no toxic lookalikes, and I don't know of any drug interactions concerning this plant. As always though, you should consult with a physician or other medical professional prior to taking any herbal supplements. Chicorium intibus is a readily available edible and medicinal plant. I hope you get out into the natural world and harvest some for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please try one of our other online videos. You might also be interested in one of our guided plant walks. You can find all of our training opportunities on our website at livingafield.com. I would appreciate you taking a moment and emailing me your feedback on this video to videos at livingafield.com. This ends our video presentation. I hope you have a wonderful day.